so it's been a week now. I suppose I can't read because that's gloss. So the box that, or the can that I got was gloss. I just ordered it, I didn't really pay that much attention. I forgot that there was black gloss and flat black, so hey, that's fine, looks good enough. Just gonna stick in the little, stick the little rubber bung in there for the brake line. I'll just have to undo the brake line to get into there. Got them from um, Datsun Parts Shop up in Kabulcha. He's got plenty of those little bits and pieces that seem to be hard to find. That's in. That grommet barely looked like it fit, but it's fitting there, sitting there nicely. Not a fan of steel wheels, but just to get a, an idea of size for the flare, I got myself one, one 15 by 8 zero offset steel wheels, so you can sort of just get a feel for. They look, they look good, but they're just heavy as shit, so that's why I'm not a fan. I'm gonna see how it fits on the flare. Gives me an idea of how much thickness I needed. Need to take this spacer off because that was needed for the other wheel. Hard to tell, but I think we might have a winner. Just. It's definitely sticking out a little bit, but with the right tyre selection, it should be fine. It'll tuck just nicely and it doesn't hit anything. I could even go a little bit offset a little. Oh no, it's pretty tight here. Probably got a little bit more room there, but just up against the strut. It's fairly tight and I'm sure once there's a tyre and it's sitting on the ground it's going to be even closer. I probably should get a tyre for this just to double, triple check. Like put it down on the ground and see how it sits once it's all there. Um, but that's not too bad. That looks alright. Don't mind that. Titanium exhaust wrap. Clip on heat shield. An acoustic liner for the floor of the cabin. Which I'll do in the next episode. Okay, goal now is to run that titanium exhaust wrap just up to the length of the just where the end of the cabin is. And you can see there, there's the gearbox bracket in the way, so I'll have to wrap it around there. And maybe I'll put a little bit at the front there as it curves up the firewall towards the engine. I'm also going to have to obviously do exhaust headers at some point, but I'll do that in a separate vid because it's more about the cabin. Obviously that's going to affect the cabin too, but I just want to do that separately because there's a few other bits and pieces of heat uh, treatment I want to put in the engine bay, so it will be slightly different. I can do that in another video, I think, because it will be too long all in one. Let's get into this. There's a bit of surface rust, even though I painted it. Obviously, I didn't do a very good job, so I might take it off, although I'll probably test fit to see if that bracket actually fits, because it's pretty tight under here, and there might not be any room whatsoever. I guess it would have to be around there. Like that. And how high does it sit? It's very tight at the back. That's as far forward as I can go. Anyway, that's still pretty good. If this doesn't fit, I guess the Sunny or the Gazelle uh, will be enjoying a nice heat shield. Which it, both of them could actually do with, and I wouldn't mind doing this to the Sunny because fuck, it gets hot in summer. Simple way to fit these. This piece got a little, um, little hole through it there, so you just undo the clamps totally basically feed it through there uh, you just put that in and screw that back on so it's all tight again and then have one sitting uh, yay height well you've got to wrap it around there first before you um, put it on then you have one here maybe one on this side and then you can screw in the the piece from the head there so might tidy that up first, give it a bit of a clean. 
off and spray it down. I really want to do it whilst on the car because I don't really want to take the exhaust off again. Without a hoist, shit crawling around under here as it is, taking that exhaust off and especially that it's really tight up at the joint to the headers and it's just a fucking pain in the ass. As a China would say, just give it a good key with a bit of scotch bonnet. This is the stuff I use. Maybe it's just not that good in the end. I sprayed that all across the whole length of the exhaust from the end of the headers to here. The headers are coated in uh, proper ceramic coat from a powder coater, but the I should have done the rest to the exhaust, but it adds up pretty quick. So this is a little bit cheaper, but it obviously shows in the quality of the, the stick of the paint. Put a quick coat of paint, two, two coats of paint back over the the exhaust is the part I'm going to wrap. I think at some point, ah, you need to wear gloves for this. You want to have gloves. I wish I had some thinner gloves for, I should have bought some cheap shitty plastic ones for this. The titanium wrap. And see all the threads and stuff there. And I hope it's focusing. Um, all that stuff gets in your hands. Apparently this one you don't need to wet. Let's go with as is. It comes with these wraparound clips. So, well, it's going to be held in doubly with the uh, the heat shields uh, clamp so but this is just for the front and end have those I'll have one or two in the middle I guess and then put the the clamps on the outside apparently you fold over an edge like this as neatly as possible So I'll just tie that end off. I'll put one on in the middle. Um, but as you can see, that looks all right. Happy with that. Then tie it off. Now I got all this spare, um, but I'll put that at the front part. So, and you can't see that. Not that you can see this part anyway, but if that's a bit less neat, then no big deal. Okay, good. At least that one's better. Uh, they're not great. I'm still thinking I'll put clamps on it. But, it looks all right. I hit the end with an angle grinder. Just needed to take off a little bit. So it's like oh, maybe a centimeter. Bit more room to play with on this end because it was very tight on the length. These are going to be much better than these. I'm going to replace these with this because there's no point wasting time with these fuckers, the one in the middle, yeah, even that's loose, I don't know, they're pretty shit, is all I can say, I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong, car builders help me out here, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of them, so, maybe there's something to do with the, the heat, but then why would, like, you know, expanding and stuff, but why would they give you these, then? these are just better, alright, not bad, do you have it? Now, all I have to do is just cut off the ends of those stupid zip ties. I might also, obviously, as I've mentioned, get put clamps on it instead, which I've got already, so I can just put them on. But yeah, just one more thing I want to do today quickly before I go watch the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight. You can see here this would sit nicer if it was just up along there. Just trim off probably that much.
we'll just tighten this up. That's it for today, guys. I'm going to go grab myself a beer and watch the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight. See you next week.